But first on this Friday, we are waking up to another weather action day. Rain pouring down overnight all across the valley. This is video sent in by ABC 15 viewer Satya. You can see the strong winds mixed in with the rainfall, leaving behind some slick conditions as you head out. And you know what? It wasn't just Tempe. So many of you know this. The West Valley getting plenty of rain as well. This video sent our way from Goodyear, where we have seen a muddy start to this early part of a Friday morning. We do want to bring in our morning meteorologist, Iris Hermosillo. You said this was going to happen, and it arrived just when you said it would. It, that evening time frame into the nighttime hours, which hopefully that meant you were home and you could enjoy <laughs> it, right? And you didn't have to venture out in it. But now as you get ready to head out, know that the roads are going to be wet all across the valley after we picked up more than half an inch of rain in most areas and even more than an inch of rain in spots like Fountain Hills, Apache Junction, even parts of Gilbert, 1.10 inches of rain, one and a tenth of an inch of rain in that area. So certainly those amounts adding up at Phoenix Sky Harbor, a combination of rain, yesterday and overnight. We're at four tenths of an inch of rain so far. And I say so far because those rain chances, they're not done. Although right now we're in a bit of a lull and I think we're going to stay in a lull for the most part through the morning drive. So what you've got to watch out for are those wet roads and puddles certainly that are left over after that overnight rain. A stray shower is possible, but I don't expect anything widespread to really slow you down here in the valley through the morning drive. Up north, different story. Look at all of that snow. It's coming down from Flagstaff to Sedona to Happy Jack out into Sholo too. So very slick driving conditions in the high country for the morning drive and low visibility is a possibility too as we could see areas of blowing snow. And this round will slowly push to the east. We're in a lull, but we have another chance for showers and maybe a few thunderstorms too by the afternoon with snow showers redeveloping in northern Arizona as well. So look for hazardous travel conditions in the high country now this afternoon and then by Saturday, we start to wind things down. Some icy roads will still be possible, but that snow potential really drops throughout the day, Saturday and through the weekend. For the valley, you'll walk out the door. It's 54 degrees. The roads are wet across the Phoenix area. There is a chance for some showers by midday and then this afternoon, some showers and thunderstorms that could impact that afternoon and evening drive. Again, they're just not going to be as widespread, so a lot more hit and miss. Our high, you're going to notice the difference. Only 63 degrees today after we topped out in the 80s again yesterday yesterday. Much cooler. We'll look ahead at the weekend and next week's rain chances and new weather action days in that full forecast still ahead. Yeah, we know you have been busy, my friend Iris. Thank you. Me